and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here for the first time then welcome my name is Trina Louise and over here on this channel we do all things plus size fashion and beauty and um, just before I get started I want to say I'm sorry if my lighting like behind me looks a little bit different my ultra bright um, light bulb died today um, so my lighting isn't quite as good as it normally is hopefully you can still see me fine um, but my bulb sort of does a lot of the work behind me so um, we have ordered a new bulb and it should be here before I film again um, but I still wanted to film today because you have asked quite a few times for me to do a tutorial for when I curl my hair and I kind of haven't done it because it takes me a very long time I'm not the best at curling my hair um, it's I find it quite a I can do one side really well and then I get to the other side and I find it so difficult and I just thought I'm probably not the best person to um, show anyone how I do it because it's not a pretty process um, but then that this brand I think they I think it's Jinri Jinri um so I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong Jinri um they approached me and asked me if they could send me their automatic hair curler and I was like yes yes please yes please send me that automatic if that takes out any of the work um that I do to curl my hair then I would be, <laughs> it would be amazing. So thank you so much to Jim Ree for sending me um, this hair curler to test for you in the video. So the hair curler, cur curler? curler comes in a box like this and it is called the Jinri Automatic Curling Tong. It's 25 millimeters um, and it's got a rotating magic hair curling wand. Heats up to, heats up to 200 degrees Celsius. Um, it's meant to heat in 30 degrees. Um, so yeah, they asked if they could send this to me and I thought this sounded amazing. I've always wanted to try one of those um, ones where it's like a, quite a big barrel and it sucks the hair in and curls it and then it drops. But I have a lot of hair um, and it's a bit shorter than normal at the moment because I cut it not long ago um, so I've always been a bit nervous about like the thickness and the length of my hair but I thought this looked super super fun um, so I wanted to try it this costs £29.99 and you can get it on Amazon so I'll leave all the links down below I think I have a discount code and if I do I'll leave that in the link below in case um, you like the look of it so we'll open it up and see what she looks like so this is what the curler looks like inside. It's a really nice white and baby pink um, colour. It's just got two buttons, which are arrows. Um, I assume, oh, that'll be the direction. And it's got a little on switch. Um, and then it's got these like <laughs> spikes on it, um, which I've read the directions. And it says that you hook the hair in these spikes and then when it turns it kind of like wraps it around um, the barrel is quite um, thin and short so I'm a bit nervous about all of my hair sort of fitting onto the barrel and um, but we'll have to give it a go but yeah it looks quite nice it doesn't look um, it does look a bit scary I was gonna say it doesn't look too scary but it looks a little bit scary but we'll give it a go and we'll see how it works I'm gonna plug it in heat it up and then we'll give it a go so just before I get started I'm gonna give my hair a really quick brush oh um if you saw my look fantastic unboxing you'll have seen that I mentioned that my um flexible pro wet brush I can't remember the exact name of it um broke and that I wanted to replace it and I've finally got a replacement so the one that I had was like this but it had um the alternated ends weren't there so it was like a flexible one um whereas this one isn't and I do prefer the more flexible one but I thought it could break easily again so I got this one and it's just the best for drying my hair with because my hair is so um like I've got so much hair the heat just passes through and it just means that it it dries a lot more quickly so just brushing out any tangles and then I'm going to put some heat protectant on it so I've got the Amica um Brooklyn bombshell blowout spray that I've been using at the moment like the packaging is just gorgeous so I'm just gonna put this all over my hair and brush it through okay so the tool should be warm enough now to use now I washed my hair yesterday so it's second day hair 
um, which is better for me for curling because when I've just washed it, it doesn't hold curls very well. So I thought this would be um, a good time to do it. And I have just sectioned it off quite badly <laughs> um, so that I can start with a smaller section and see how we go. So I've taken a reasonably small section for us to try out first and I've brushed it through. Um, now these buttons, as I said, they do <laughs> um, twist the wand in different directions. Let's press one now for you to see. So it makes a funny noise, but it is the um, pink bit where you clip your hair into that turns and you can turn it in different directions so you can alternate the direction of the curl. So from what it says, you just clip your hair. I'm gonna come a bit closer. Clip your hair in and then press it. I don't know which way. No, I think that way. Okay. And then, oh, okay. This might take a few tries for me to get right. Oh, I think that's kind of got it. Take it out. Oh, I mean, it wasn't the easiest to get on, um, and the curl only comes about halfway up. Just checking in my mirror properly. Yeah, it's definitely curled, but it's only come about halfway up. Let's try with another piece. So I'm wondering if I clip it into more clips, will that, I mean, that's quite difficult to do. Um, okay, let's try again. See, the problem is when I have to let go of it, it falls out. Or maybe I need to keep, no, you can't keep hold of it because it's spinning. Okay, um, I might try it further up the hair. a bit more oh right so <laughs> if you put it up the further up the hair you can hold on to it a bit longer and it like grasps the hair more but if you pull it at all it kind of loses it um so let's try that again see now the little bit at the end isn't in there so that's curled it up higher but then this bit at the end is out um i wonder if i need a thicker piece and then maybe it'll stay in more let's try a bit of a thicker piece that's not already been curled let's try putting it about halfway up and it's tricky to even get it in <laughs> Okay. Wait, is that the wrong way? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's not working. Why can I not make this work? Okay. I'm going to play around, see if I can figure this out, and then I'll be back. Okay. I think I've got it figured out. I went onto their Amazon to see if there was any more advice and there was a little video um, that showed me how they do it. So that helped. So I'm going to take a section and what they did on the video is, let me take these baby hairs out the way, is they put it up about halfway like I was doing. They clipped it onto one and then she held it until it kind of pulled it out of her hand, kept it really upright and I think it's the keeping it upright. So let's see if it works. Now let go, let it spin. And then it kind of, well, it was working on the other side. It kind of catches all the hair and drops down, but it hasn't quite, yeah, it's kind of worked. It wasn't perfect. Let me show you again. Do 
Do you see the drop then? Like it kind of, it caught the end and it all dra dropped in, but there is no grip on it whatsoever. So if I, um, I apologize that I'm looking over here a lot. I'm kind of using the viewfinder. Um, if you pull on it or move it at all, it's just like, there's no grip, but it does work. <laughs> It takes a bit of getting used to um, to make it work, but you, you you can make it work. And what I would say is the side of my hair that I find easy to do, I'm finding it more difficult. Um, but the side that I struggle with, I'm going to hit myself in the face with this, I'm finding it a bit easier to do. Um, so it's easier than when I find it difficult, but it's not easier than when it, I find it easy, if that makes sense. So we'll do another one. Hold it about halfway up, hold it upright, let it grip it. Let it spin until it like catches it all. Let it heat. And then let it drop. So I think I've figured it out. I'm gonna finish off the rest of my hair um, and then I'll be back and I'll let you know my final thoughts. curling it I took you over there because I thought you might want to see me try and do my whole head of hair um, and it was a bit easier for me to do it on my desk rather than like facing my setup so I have managed to do it I haven't styled it or anything yet I just wanted you to see it as is I would now like shake it out a bit and um, screw it maybe back comb a little bit at the top give it a bit of hairspray and um, but I wanted you to see it as is now I would say that a lot of the curls that I did to begin with are starting to fall out. My hair does struggle to hold a curl um, and I haven't put any spray in it yet, but it would usually hold it a little bit better. Um, so that's something to um, take note. So it is finickety, like it works, but you need to figure it out. So a few things that I figured out is if it's not dead right straight, it's not gonna work. Um, as it's winding, you kind of need, help, need to help it towards the head a little bit. And also sometimes the end of the hair kind of flicks out um, as you get towards the top, so you have to put it back in. Um, and you need the right amount of hair. So not too small, although it does work, it just doesn't, it's a little bit more tricky to keep it in place um, and not too thick. So quite an in-betweeny kind of amount of hair. And another thing you need to be careful of is, is as it's getting towards the head that these don't pick up any of the rest of your hair because um, then it can ruin a curl that you've already done. So. What I would say is, it was quicker to use than when I normally curl my hair. I felt like I curled my hair much quicker, even with all the sort of messing around that I needed to do. Um, I did feel like I managed to curl my whole head of hair a reasonable amount of, a reasonable amount quicker, a reason, a reason, quicker than I normally would. <laughs> um, but it isn't, the curls aren't as uniform. Um, they aren't staying in for as long. You can't get as close to the head as you want, which for me doesn't matter too much because I probably would want my curls to start about where they have. But if you're someone that wants to be able to get right up to the roots, you're gonna struggle a bit. Um, but yeah, they're not the most uniform. Um, like this side looks like it's fallen out a lot quicker than this side, uh, <laughs> which is strange. Um, but yeah, I'm going to style my hair a bit, come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. So I just tried to style it in the way that I normally would. Um, and I'd normally do like a light comb through to just um, loosen the curls a little bit to make them more bouncy than tight. But in doing that, I've lost a lot of structure of the curl, unfortunately. Um, and the other thing which is my fault because I didn't realise to begin with, is that because I did all my curls in one direction, they're kind of grouping together quite a bit when I comb through. Um, I now know how you'd make the curls go in different directions. I'll show you really quickly. Um, it's dependent on which side of the tool you put it in. So if you put the hair on that side, it curls 
that way. And if you put the hair behind and press the other button, it curls in the other direction. So I was trying to put the hair on the same side and pressing the different buttons and it was getting tangled one way and not the other. Um, but now I've figured that out, it would be a bit better. So that's my fault for not knowing to begin with. So final thoughts, this isn't my favorite thing. I've managed to almost make it work. And if I was to do it again, um, I think I've now learned a few tricks that would mean that I could do it um, much better. It was quite quick, I'm not gonna lie, it took me less time than it normally does, which is a bonus, but I'd rather take a bit more time and get the look that I want. So it's okay. And if you can take some time to figure it out, it does work, but it isn't the magic solution to the perfect easy curl that I was looking for. So I'd say it's okay. So I'm gonna end the video there. Sorry if it was a little bit all over the place. Like I said, I lost my light. Um, this is the first time I tried to do a hair tutorial. Um, so I need to do a bit of learning in terms of how I set it up um, to film for you. Um, but let me know what you think. What did you think of the tool? Um, is it the thing that you're looking for? Um, if not, what is your favorite curler to use? Um, and if anyone's used one of those automatic ones that suck the hair up um, and then you let it go, let me know how that works for you. Um, and if you do want me to do a video of my normal curling routine, like I said, it's nothing special, but I can do that for you. Just let me know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.